Today, we'll be showing you exactly how to wipe and factory reset your PlayStation 4. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. Now, first off, if you're one of the lucky ones who managed to grab a new PS5, then a big congratulations to you. Your shiny new console not only has some excellent launch games, but oh, I'm looking at you, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, but uh, the PS5 also has the ability to run PlayStation 4 games. And with this backwards compatibility, you could look at selling your old PS4 console to get some cash back. So in this video, we'll be going over everything you need to do to start your PS4 console from scratch, including how you can properly factory reset your PS4 before you sell it. The first thing you want to do before you reset your PS4 is back up your saved data. There's nothing worse than realizing hours of gameplay is lost, so do not skip this step. You have two options when backing up your PS4 save data. Option number one is to use an external USB storage device, or option number two is to use your PlayStation Plus cloud storage. The easiest way to back up your PlayStation 4's saved game data is via the cloud. However, in order to do so, you will need a subscription to PlayStation Plus. This gives you 100 gigs worth of storage that can be used to back up your saved game data. One of the best things about backing up your saved game data to the cloud is that the entire process can be automated. This means that with a little preparation, you can focus all of your time and attention on playing with the peace of mind that your saved game data is being backed up. Now to get started, you'll want to make sure that your PS4 console stays connected to the internet whenever you put it in rest mode. To do this, head to settings, power save settings, set features available in rest mode and stay connected to the internet. Next, you'll want to automate the backup process. Navigate to settings, applications save data management, auto upload. Make sure the box next to enable automatic uploads is checked. This will automatically back up all of your saves to the cloud. If you are not currently subscribed to PlayStation Plus, you can easily do so via the PlayStation Store. You can also back up your saved game data without a PlayStation Plus subscription. All you'll need to do this is a USB drive formatted to FAT32 or XFAT. Now to back up your saved game data to your USB, connect the drive to a spare USB port on your PS4 console. Next, head to Settings, Application Save Data Management, Saved Data in System Storage, and Copy to USB Storage Device. On the next screen, select a game to see all the saved data associated with that title. Once you have selected the individual saved data files, select Copy. This will make a copy of your saved data to be stored on your USB. Alternatively, if you want to back up saved game data from multiple titles, press the Options button on your controller and choose Select Multiple Applications. This will allow you to copy the saved game data of multiple games in one swoop. After you've backed up your saved game data, you'll need to disassociate your PlayStation account from your PS4 console. Failure to do so could result in some headaches down the road, and I for one know this all too well. This includes things like accessing your downloaded games or restoring saved game data on your console. So make sure you do this step, it's really important. To deactivate your account from your PS4, turn on the console and sign into your account if you're not already signed in. Open the PS4 settings menu and select account management. Then choose activate as your primary PS4. Then select deactivate. Now for this next part, I'll just be using screenshots because I didn't actually want to sell my PS4 for this video, but um, hopefully you can follow along. So with the previous two steps completed, you're all ready to completely reset your PS4 and get it ready for resale. 
navigate back to the PS4's settings menu and select initialization. At this point, you'll be presented with a couple of different options. To reset your PS4 and wipe all of your data, choose initialize PS4. This will restore all of the factory defaults as well as delete all of your user data. There is another option called restore default settings. However, this doesn't delete all of your data. If you are planning on reselling or gifting your PS4 console, then you'll definitely want to select initialize PS4. But as we said, be aware this will wipe all of your data. After selecting initialize PS4, you will have to make another choice, either quick or full. Both options will delete all of your data, but as the title suggests, the quick option takes significantly less time. That being said, the full option not only deletes your data, but makes it unrecoverable as well. Because of this added layer of security, we suggest you opt for the full option. At this stage, you'll have to confirm the operation by selecting yes. Now, if I hadn't said it before, I'll say it again. Here's another warning. Make sure you're ready to perform a complete wipe of your PS4 at this point. Once the initialization process starts, it cannot be canceled. So after selecting yes, if you're ready to go ahead, your PS4 console will reboot and begin the initialization process. How long this takes can vary. However, be prepared to let your PS4 do its thing for a couple of hours at least. Once the PS4 has finished the initialization process, the console will reboot again. When it turns itself back on, you'll see the PS4 setup screen. This screen instructs you to connect the DualShock 4 controller to the PS4 console via the USB cable to continue. If you see this screen, the initialization process completed successfully and your PS4 is ready to be sold. At this point, all you need to do is press the power button on your PS4 until it beeps to shut it down. Now you're ready to pack up your PS4 and sell it. Now that your PS4 console has been reset to its factory state, you can safely sell it. But if you're not interested in flipping your old console for some extra cash, there are other things you can do with it. If you're interested, check out our article, Seven Ways to Make Good Use of Your Old Game Console on our website, maketechmuseum.com. And did I guess right? Are you actually planning on selling your old PS4 now that the PS5 is out? Let us know down in the comments. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.